Good morning, everybody. Oh, I am so, so tired. There, all them people down there stayed up until like two, 3 o'clock in the morning. And now they're up at 6.30. Well, 7. <sighs> Making all kinds of damn noise. I really gotta find somewhere quiet to sleep tonight. <laughs> but yeah, I'll get back with y'all here in a little bit. I gotta get some coffee in me and get woke up. <laughs> What's up everybody? So I'm about halfway up Tar Ridge right now. But there was a gentleman camped right at the very beginning when you first come in the field. He talked to me yesterday. So you notice I had a little bit of a limp to me. And something pretty damn awesome. He said last night he had signal, he watched my video. And he said he sat there and cried for over an hour because he has issues to make him think that he couldn't do a through hike. He's really wanting to, but he's thinking he can't. And he told me <laughs> that I inspired him to try for it anyways in the next two years. And he's going to start doing sections to build his body up. And he gave me two balls of water, a couple uh, the chocolate chip granola bars, and handed me a $20 bill. <laughs> it's crazy. But that's exactly what I made that video, that frostbite video for. Not for people to see it and give me shit or send me money and all that. It's just to inspire people to do what they want in life. <laughs> and, yeah, it's almost 9 o'clock now, but we sit down there and talk for uh, probably 45 minutes. And I'm only going 7.7 .7 to the sh next shelter, so ain't in no big hurry. But that was awesome. And if you see this, thank you so, so much. And, yeah, you got my number. Let me know when you get out here. And I'll do the same for you. Man, if I known it was going to be like this up here, I might come up here to camp last night. Absolutely beautiful. And the sunrise would have been amazing. Wow. Everything frosty this morning. Wow. Beautiful. What's up everybody? Taking and giving my feet a break. But I've gone about 2.1 so far. And I didn't leave camp until 9. And it's 10.15. It's 
been easy going up on Tire Ridge and then this downhill was like the perfect grade for me. I could almost run down it. So that was pretty awesome. But anyways, I'm going to sit here for a few. Eat me a bite. Can't sit here too long because it's cold. <laughs> Got a little bit of a power line view. The leaves covering up the rocks. <laughs> Keep tripping up. Man, there is hikers everywhere today. I've done seen like seven sobos and a bunch of day hikers. I've probably seen at least 20 people in all. Crazy, not counting everybody that was down there camp. <laughs> Whenever I hadn't seen hardly anybody in like days. Crazy, and here comes more people. Oh, no more Congo line. <laughs> they was going up a hill and they was going slow as heck. And they let me pass and I'm probably like a probably about a half mile ahead of them now. I keep hearing a bell up in front of me. I don't know if it's a dog or somebody's got a bear bell on. Found the bells. <laughs> What's up everybody? So I just sit there at uh on that rock and took me a lunch break sit there for about 20 minutes and i am running really 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 low on food so i had lte there gary was supposed to meet me at the tide river with a resupply that way I didn't have to carry because where it's taken me like 10 days to get to Waynesboro. Well, it is now because where I took that Nero. But, uh, yeah, he's going to meet me at the Crabtree Falls Trailhead. So from where I'm camping tonight, it's only four and a half to that trailhead. And then I got a half mile walk down. And I'll get my resupply and then head up to the priest. So I got that worked out, which is good. Well, that was amazing. Walk up on a big group of girls hiking. They're going back to the car. And they was talking about how my pack looked awful small. And I was saying, that's because I'm about out of food, but I'm eating my buddy in tomorrow. And here they go. Y'all know I love peanut butter. This one girl said, hey, you want some peanut butter? I was like, hell yeah. And then another person asked, you want apple? I was like, wow, yeah. And then another girl gave me two bars. And their funny thing is, I'm kind of burned out on bars, but she had the two that... I'm not burning out on. So that was just awesome. And I told them about my frostbite video and my plan of what I'm doing. So if y'all watch that and then continue watching and you see this, I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. The kindness of people out here blows my mind and y'all became members of the mr support team and didn't even know it
This is Elk Pond Branch. It's flowing pretty good. This is one cool spring. What's up everybody? So I'm gonna go ahead and end it for today. But yeah, I left uh, Hall Camp Gap. That tent area right there. And then now I'm sitting at Porter Gap. Nice little level spot over there. Got my quilt up there. Trying to get it to dry out a little bit. Because it got a little damp. It's where I was in that field. And it got really cold. Had quite a bit of condensation. I didn't realize it when I woke up. So I threw my quilt over like I normally do. And it wiped all down the wall. So. But I've been... I made probably the best time I've ever made today, somehow or another. And my foot didn't start giving me trouble until the last point three or so. But I did a total of 8.8 .8 miles, and I got here at 3 o'clock. It's now almost 5 o'clock. <laughs> I've just been sitting here relaxing, just hanging out. I've been trying to get stuff dried out, which I did. But today was just amazing. Like there wasn't all that many views, but the trail going up, it was steep, but don't bother me. It was short and sweet ups. And then the downs, all day today, like I had a lot of downhill, probably about four miles worth. But it was all graded, like, perfect for my feet. So I had, like, no problems at all, all day long. Which is probably why I made such a good time. Because I, I left camp at 9, and I got here at 3, and I did almost 9 miles. Which is, usually if I do almost 9, it's pretty close to dark by the time I get there. But, uh... Yeah, again, a huge, huge thank you for the trail magic this morning from that guy. And all them ladies, when they was talking about how small pack my pack was, handed me all that food. And I had the most amazing snack, something I've been craving but won't carry out here because it's heavy. It's an apple, and then I took one of them peanut butter packets, and I ate the whole apple and the peanut butter. Like sliced apple, put peanut butter on it. I love, love, love that. <laughs> but yeah, it was just a really good day. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call it, I reckon. But uh, I hope you all have had a great day and have an even better night. And I'll talk to y'all in the morning. Probably going to sleep in a little bit because I am more out tired where I only slept like three hours last night so once I hit the hay I'm probably going past out <laughs> good night